Hey, what's up, everyone? Right YouTube land, Elric Ferris, editor in chief, here once again on the motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, NVIDIA fans, it's getting close to Christmas, and you now have another time to rejoice as NVIDIA releases another video card. Now, this will be the new GTX 570. Now, what this card is, this is basically a replacement for the 470 that should have been, that came out before. All the things have been fixed. It's got some great new features, and it's going to be right in the midline price range of mid-end cards. So follow along as we show you all the features of this card, how fast it is, how it competes against other cards in its same class, and at the end of the day, whether it's worth your money as the end user. Okay, so here you can check out some of the specs of the new GeForce GTX 570. You'll notice a couple of things versus the 580. Some of the differences are the CUDA cores. Uh, the 570 is 480, while the 580 is 512. The processor clock CUDA core speed. On the 570, it's 1464 megahertz, and on the 580, it's 1544 megahertz. The total video memory is 1280 megabytes of GDDR5 in this card, and 1.5 on the 580. The memory interface is also a little different. On the 570, it's 320 bit, and on the 580, it's 384 bit. For the cooling, the card also has some vapor chamber cooling. Don't really know quite exactly what this is. NVIDIA is holding this kind of a secret over our heads, but the card's supposed to run cooler than previous generation cards. So follow along, check out the specs, and then see how this card performs on performance against others of its own class. <laughs> Okay, so the scores are in. You can see that this card is basically the second fastest card of NVIDIA's flagship video cards. Comes in straight between basically the 480 and the 580 video cards. So it's a very strong point coming in and selling at about $349. So for those people out there who are fans of NVIDIA and want to have this card, this is a pretty good item for you guys. It's very fast. It actually does run cooler than the other one. And as you can see, the power consumption is not that bad. About 284 watts really isn't that bad per card. People say it's a lot, but it's really not that bad if you've got modern day computer with a thousand watt power supply and all the other stuff that major gamers have. So really, if you're not a really high end gamer, you're probably not want to buy this card. I mean, it's a pretty big card, $349, mm, that's in the higher range. But for those people who want to have NVIDIA in their machine and they want a card that kicks ass over a lot of the competition, the new GTX 570 is the sweet spot right now for NVIDIA-based video cards. It gets an editor's choice here on motherboards.org.